Hello everyone, welcome back to Special Potter. I'm Neem and today we are going to be seeing this video here. I think I might have to have words with the creator of this video. Apparently there's 50 things I didn't know about Harry Potter. But today I'm going to be watching this video and every time I know what they're talking about I get a point. And then every time I don't know what they're talking about I don't get a point and they get a point if that makes sense. I'm sorry about the purple lip lacquer on the wall. It wasn't me, I promise. But anyway, let's get straight to it. Regardless of which kind of Harry Potter fan you are, whether you read the books or not, it goes without saying that the Harry Potter universe is quite possibly one of the most intricate and well-written franchises ever told. Okay, I guess we're off to a good start. Turn to page 394. And with such a vast universe comes a vast assortment of information. Hey, how's it going guys? I'm the Geeky Informant. And I dug deep into the interwebs to find 50 of the most interesting Harry Potter facts that you didn't know. Yes, even the most dedicated Harry Potter fan will learn at least a thing or two after seeing this video. You don't think so? Well then let's put that knowledge to the test. In Greek mythology, a seer named Cassandra was given her powers by the god Apollo, who later cursed her so no one would believe her prophecies. Professor Trelawney's great-grandmother's name... Oh my gosh, so I just had to quickly pause. I knew that. A one point to me, thank you, we're off to a very good start. ...is Cassandra. During the filming of the kissing scene between Horcrux versions of Harry and Hermione in the final film, Rupert Grint was removed from the set for laughing too much. Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grint both admit to having a crush on Emma Watson in the earlier films. Ever wonder why the four... Um, I knew that. Um, another point to me. ...fourth book is much longer than the previous three? Supposedly, there was a huge plot hole that Rowling had to cover up. Which led to the cutting of the character from the final story. On her official website, she states that the character's name was Mafalda, daughter of the second cousin who's a stockbroker, as mentioned in Philosopher's Stone. She also goes on to say that Mafalda was supposed to convey certain information about the Death Eaters to Harry, Ron, and Hermione because of the nosy eavesdropping Slytherin who likes to impress. She does not keep her mouth shut when she overhears her sons and daughters talking. Unfortunately, however bright she made her, there were obvious limitations to what an 11 year old closeted at school could discover. Whereas Rita Skeeter, whom she subsequently built up to fulfill Mafalda's function, was much more flexible. The I didn't learn that, so. One point to them, I've learned one thing from today. The first Harry Potter book was published in 1998 in the United States, the same year the final battle of Hogwarts was fought. Rowling has said, I open at the close. Did that really make sense? I got it, but did the sentence and grammar make sense? Anyway, I knew that. Please cut a point on the screen for me. The food you see in the Great Hall scenes in Sorcerer's Stone is 100% real. Director Chris Columbus wanted to capture the elaborate feast from the books perfectly. Wait, I'm just going to quickly pause because I I know this. Um, I'm just going to quickly tell you a fact before they do. Um, basically, the filming lights were really hot and it was really hot and smelly in there because like all the food and stuff. And it definitely did. The only problem is the food spoiled really easily under the hot production lights and created a super unpleasant odor. That's why for future Harry Potter movies they froze the food and created molds to make the fake food look more realistic. Oh yeah, um, when I went to Warner Bros, I went and you can go into the Great Hall, I went at like Halloween time and they had a carrot cake and it's identical to the Costco carrot cakes. Warner Bros, did you just go to Costco before filming? Because if you did, I've tried that carrot cake and it was pretty good. Rupert Grint has an actual severe case of arachnophobia, so he didn't have to do much acting in the scene where he and Harry met Aragog. Hermione was meant to hug Harry and Ron at the end of the Chamber of Secrets when she runs into the Great Hall. However, since Emma Watson was too embarrassed to hug the boys in the scene, Christopher Columbus changed it so that she would hug Harry and then begin to hug Ron, but get too embarrassed and shake his hand. The change actually worked well to build up their love-hate relationship that continued throughout the books, and we all know how that ended. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Point for me. Guess that's quite awkward, though. The only time Fred and George Weasley ever saw each other as old men was when they put their names in the Goblet of Fire. No, that's too sad. I never really thought about that. Technically, I knew about it, but I'm just gonna give them a point. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the feels. The name Harry Potter is mentioned 18,956 times in the series. 
The fact that someone went and actually counted each time the name was mentioned? Now that's dedication. Almost as much as making a 50 facts list on Harry Potter. I'm just gonna give them a point anyway because I didn't know that. Potter facts, am I right? So many fans visit King's Cross Station to take pictures of platforms 9 and 10 that the station management erected a sign that says Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Here's one for the non-reading fans. Tom Felton had not read any of the books before auditioning for the role of Draco Malfoy. Of the seven Horcruxes, Harry Potter personally destroyed only one of them, Tom Riddle's diary at the end of Chamber of Secrets. The first- Wait. Yeah. Is that true? Because he didn't, he didn't kill Nagini. He didn't break the Hufflepuff cup. He didn't, he did, didn't he? He threw the, but personally destroyed. He just threw it into some fire, and then I don't know. Is that true? Tell me in the comments. Anyway, a point to them because I've never really thought about it. And last words we hear Dobby say are Harry Potter. Who played young Tom Riddle is actually related to the actor who played Voldemort. Hero Phineas Tiffin is actually Ralph Phineas's nephew. Filming the Seven Harrys scene in Deathly Hallows Part 1 was insanely complex. Daniel Radcliffe counted over 90 takes just for that single shot. The producers of Sorcerer's Stone. I feel sorry for the directors or anyone on anyone on set that day. It must have been exhausting. I knew they had to take it off. But 90 times? No, thank you. Point to them. Try to give Daniel Radcliffe green eyes and Hermione buck teeth, just like in the books, but failed. Sadly, Daniel had a terrible. Daniel Radcliffe had eye irritations to them, and Emma Watson couldn't speak. And in that scene, you can actually see, like, he has really red eyes, and Emma can't talk properly. <laughs> had a terrible allergic reaction to his green contact lenses and had to stop wearing them, while Emma Watson couldn't speak clearly while wearing her false buck teeth. Despite Harry Potter being referred to as a great wizard quite a bit throughout Sorcerer's Stone, You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard, and a thumping good and I'd wager, once you trade up a little. He never actually cast a single spell throughout the entire movie. The what? Wait. Okay, a point to them, please. Dumbledore is an old English word for bumblebee. Rowling said she chose the name because she pictured Dumbledore humming to himself. Okay, a point to them. So, anyway, that is 25 done, and I'm only going to do half of it today, but if you want to see the other half, the other half, make sure to tell me in the comments down below, and I will do the other half for you if you want it, though. And anyway, that will wrap up today's video. I think I did well considering it could have been any sort of questions but anyway um if you like this video make sure to tell me by giving it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this then make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there make sure to hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications get notified every time i post what's not to like i'll see you in my next video make sure to cast lumos bring like light into your day and i'll see you all in my next video bye At least I'm not mad at them yet. Page 394. I guess it's like to make, to make it snake like. If you like snakes, check out my second channel. Link up there and down there. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing a reacting. No, let's, let's try that again. Hello everyone, welcome back to our What's up? Or I just go, hi guys, welcome back to my channel today. They we sound say. really awkward when you say that. So. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to Pasha. And with such a vast universe comes a vast assortment of information. Oh my. Is the camera okay? Yeah, I didn't know. I don't think I'm trusting you to Oh my goodness. Wow. Can we just I caught it as well and I had your phone and I was like, what do I do? Do I disrespect the phone? Oh my god.
The thing is, I was reaching over to find my ear, my headphones. My goodness. Why are we getting your headphones? Do I even have them? No, but so that I can use my laptop. Okay, I'll just rewind like 15 seconds. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Do you want me to get the door? The fact that we've got the camera falling on camera as well. <sighs> we need to watch Smack that footage. And now we've only got 1% of but we're just going to keep filming, so okay. keep going. If it smelled with like nice food, if they if they recreate all the Harry Potter movies, I'm in for it. Ow. I'm in for them, okay. 